Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And like promise, I'm gonna go over some details. As you can see, I got carried away. And it's totally different now from when you last saw it. You know, there's already anything on it. But I'm gonna go over some few key details and such. So, to start, you know, I do post this uh, pictures of this on, my, on Facebook, on the Tronxy group. So the guys can see the transformation. A lot of people are acting for the SDLs. So I'm gonna clarify this in this video. So basically, this is, I'm using the Voron SDL. If you go on the Voron website, you can basically use all the SDL from what? The V1.8 SDL, that's the previous model, and the Trident, the Trident replaces the V1.8. So you can find all the STLs on the, the Vorn website. Listen, I there's nothing special here I'm using. Nothing special at all, okay? Um, the only thing I had to modify, but I digress, we'll talk about this. I had to modify these, and I'll tell you why. But outside of that, you can find the STL guys, for those who are watching this video, on the Vorn website. I'm using, I'm using the V1.8, um, mechanical structure so that means the the gantry okay and the bed area the for the the skirting is from the trident so if you go in the trident folder look on the skirts you will see all the stuff for the skirts okay if you go into the v1.8 you will see all the gantry area and the bed area um sdl for the v.8 you just got to pick out what you need Okay, so I don't, now, if you want me to, which would be kind of a bit of a work, I could compile those SDLs in one folder and link it in my OneDrive so you can grab them. But, like I said, the SDLs are all available for you guys to use. All I'm just doing is picking from the resources that's already available and making this printer. There's nothing special about it and nothing special about what I did. I just, I'm just taking from two different model printer and combining it together to make a one awesome looking printer. That's basically what I did. So nothing special. So if you want the SDLs, just visit the Voron um, website, look at the Trident, download the Trident um, SDLs, download, download the previous V1.8 SDLs, and then pick and, pick and choose what you need from that and build yourself the printer. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. Um, as far as what modification I've done, so as you can see, I'm running the Trident skirts. Um, I went ahead, um, the color difference you're seeing here, if you guys are wondering, this is ABS, this is PTG. I ran out of ABS at the moment, so I just used some gray PTG. It's just cheaper to make the skirts, so that's why you're seeing the two um, color tone of gray, but it still came out looking nice. It kind of adds to the whole gray scheme and black going on with the, it's called Forest Green, the color. It's called Forest Green from Matter Hackers Build Series ABS. Um, it's It looks more tealish than green, but it's a nice color, very nice color. Um, what else? I, I've, I mounted the panels. Um, this is vinyl sticker, um, carbon fiber vinyl stickers here. I mounted a panel. I have some clips underneath that's mounting to keep it up and some clips on top to keep pressure on it. I also have the the um the din rails underneath that um all the electronics are mounted on to help brace the top uh, top um the top cover here um i also and, and it's the cheap plexiglass it's kind of flimsy so the the bracing and the clips and everything help kind of make it a little bit more rigid um so yep and then underneath as the bottom cover i'm using some chalkboard like the chalk chalk type of chalkboard you can find from lowe's i have that nicely cut so that way you can put it underneath the bottom. 
and of course that's going to add some weight to it but it's also nice and stiff rigid it just helped make the the printer more rigid so that's also cheap as well um and um so total of this bill so far is about around 350 ish um and i'll tell you why now the next thing i'm using uh this is the i um the fire hd um amazon fire hd7 cheap tablet i'm using main sale um web ui as uh, a way to control the printer and that's nice and let me go ahead and turn this on so you guys can see what it looks like so so as a way to control the printer um what else as far as specifications i'm using the stock transi frame i haven't had anything to it other than you know this extrusion um that extrusion but both for extra extrusion right one for your x one for the back here and then two for the sides um so that's the only thing i've added to it i'm not using anything extra i'm just using the stock frame um um you can use the stock motors but i've had custom motors from when i when i upgraded my pro so if you looked at previous videos i've upgraded my pro with a bunch of stuff from the bed to the back motors their 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 beefier motors um even the z motors are upgraded initially when i was brand new to this stuff i upgraded a whole bunch of stuff because i thought they sucked right but hindsight 2020 i could have just used the stock motors they were pretty plenty enough for this mo uh, machine so outside of that if you guys are building this you can use the stock stuff you don't need to get anything new stock bed stock everything you don't need to get anything new okay but in my case i'm just using all the mods and upgrades i had prior to turning this into a v1.8 mashup um so let me see what else so these real these these extrusions are you can easily cut these but these are approximately 490 millimeters on each side i can't remember exactly what the x is um but and i can't exactly remember what that is but i'm pretty sure if, if you're building this you can easily figure that out especially when you print the parts um these are 400 millimeter linear rails uh mgn 9h um, as I, and as you can see, they didn't they didn't go all the way into the the little crevice that's that's designed to have them run in. As you can see, how it's all the way inside of this, they couldn't run in there because the problem is this is a very odd size uh, build build area. So, um, so these are 400 millimeter MD, MDN nines, and I would have need 422 millimeters exactly, and there's no. Uh, linear rails at 422 millimeters unless i bought them at 450 millimeters and then cut them down and i hate cutting linear rails like i don't mind doing it but i hate after cutting linear rails sometimes you know um so i went ahead and just put some stops here because my tool head literally comes all the way across here okay as you can see it comes all the way across hanging off the bed so i have enough space to go to the sides um like these clips here so there's enough space there um, so I just put some end stops here, so just in case that you know the the the, the carriage for the MGN nine don't fall off the um, um, the rail. Um, what else? Um, these were three hundred and fifty millimeters on both of these. These are also MGN nine H's, three hundred and fifty millimeters. Um, they fit, but there was like a little piece. It was so tight. There's a little piece, so you have to cut off like. You don't have to really cut it off. Um, I cut it, but you could just sand it down. Um, you need like a millimeter off of this for it to slide in place. Okay, so you're talking about maybe 340, 49 millimeters, maybe 49 and a half. But like I said, in hindsight, 2020, I cut them, but you could have just literally like just sand it down until it fit. Okay, so that's that's a heads up there for you guys who want to uh, who want to attempt this build. Now. Of course, I'm using the uh, the Voron Stealth Burner. Remember, this is still in beta. This is the latest, I wanna say, the latest beta unit per se, but it's working great. Um, it's tuned, dialed in already. Everything was pre-set up, so I know the, the system works. I'm um, also with the new, with the new base mount here, with the original 1.8, right here had a X end stop they with a new uh mount to to accommodate the new um vora stealth burner and clockwork 2 they removed the um how should i put it they they didn't include a um 
uh, X end stop switch. Because keep in mind, this really is designed for the 2.4. This is the 2.4 um, setup. Um, they didn't design one specifically for the 1.8. Um, so I'm just using the 2.4 base setup for the two, the, the, the dual MG and 9H. So in this case, because it's lacking an end stop, because typically the end stop would have been on here, right? If you look at the 2.4 design, the end stops are at the bottom and the Y end stop. But in this case, because they don't, there's not an end stop, I'm just using sensorless omen on the X only. And then the Y end stop is back there. So... So as you can see, I'm just giving you guys as much information as possible. The hot end I'm using is a uh, Dragon High Flow hot end. Um, like I said, I'm using the same setup um, from previous uh, X5 SA Pro when it was a pro. This is a 12 volt fan. It pushes a lot of hair. I, I mean, a gobs amount of air. So there's no issue there when it comes to printing. I'm also using a I Ambridge um, 50. 5015 fans it, it's been like about 8000 rpm or something like that so it pushes a lot of air as well decent amount of air at the bottom so there shouldn't be any warping with pla or anything like that um deforming when printing so now to the bed this is the nine millimeter thick 6061 330 by 330 aluminum bed now high side 2020 once again if i did my research i would have got cast aluminum instead of uh, 6061, because the problem with 6061 is that it warps on the heat. And I mean, everything, every metal will warp on some heat. Now, if you heat it up really fast, it will warp. If you take your time slowly heating it, it will warp, but not as much. Now, cast aluminum is heat treated, so it's better. Uh, it resists warping a bit better. Um, so don't get me wrong, you still get a warping, but it's not going to be anything super serious. You know what I'm saying? Like you you pretty much still have a, a decently flat bed with cast aluminum. And that's what's on my Trident, and it's it's amazing. Um, so, but the problem is that this bed is heavy. So when I was using 8mm rods, if you notice the rods are thicker, thicker these are 12mm rods. When I was using the 8mm rod setup on this bed, it was kind of flimsy. All the weight would just hang on the front here, because if you look from the side... You can see all the weight is on the front. So the problem was when when you go up and down. Hey guys, future me here. Wanted to highlight one thing real quick. Um, not just the Optimus Prime uh, <laughs> sticker now because it looks really, really nice. But one thing I want to highlight. So you may be wondering what these are in my video, which I didn't clarify in the first video um, is before I continue the actual clip, these I had to I had to put these here to hold the frame together because the problem was the way Trunxy frame is. There's two screws that screw down to hold the extrusion together, and those screws would have interfered with the uh, the way the trident mounts. Okay, it would interfere with the trident uh, feet, the way the feet mount. So in order to uh, to mount the feet properly and let it mesh properly. I had to remove the two screws that are sitting um, to hold the extrusion together and mount these instead. These are angle brackets um, um, instead so that way the feet can sit properly. So if you're curious, that's what I had to do in order for the, the skirt to sit properly and, and work. So that's all I needed to say. All right, let the clip continue. So when you go up and down, uh, the, the 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 bearings had a little bit of slack in them so it, this would just shake the front of the bed would just shake shake as you go up and down so each movement the, it would just shake and that will make cause a lot of in, inaccuracy with the probe with the cookie probe it would just cause a, the 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 just cause a bunch of issue because there's no accuracy because it's constantly shaking so for a while i'm thinking like what should i do like how would i fix this you know i could go to like, there's a mod modification for the 1.9 1.8 that allows you to use um mgm 12 rails on the side but that that means i would have to pull down everything and 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 recut stuff and i didn't want to do that i was so far into the bill i'm like i i can't i i just don't want to do that so the solution was Thanks to Eddie experimenting with M um, 12 millimeter rods, I just downloaded that that um, the the 12 millimeter 12 millimeter rod mods setup, 
and installed it and that perfectly worked. That fixed all the issue I was having with the bed. No more is the bed jerking and lurching, going up or down. It just, it's smooth up and down, perfectly fine. So the, just these 12 millimeter rods just, it's so much more rigid, uh, not as flimsy either. So honestly, from here on out, I would love to use 12 millimeter rods. It's just so much thicker, um, less, you know, like I said, less, less issue of rigidity, so much more rigid. And, um, and I, so, yeah, so I ordered some 350, I want to say millimeter rods for this. Um, I'd have to go back and correct myself. I might, might edit this video just to make sure I give you the right, um, information, but I have to cut them down just a little bit. So they fit, um, fit in the, in the, in the build area. Um, I had to make some adjustment to this because the rods are so much thicker. They come in a little bit further. So I had to make some adjustment to this. As you can see, I had to drill out the hole a bit wider, um, in order to make the adjustment in. But that was, like I said, that was pretty, pretty easy. I was able to put it back together and, and, and wow, it works. Now, because of that, this, the standard, remember I told you about the modification I had to make to this because of that, there was this like about five millimeter gap or six millimeter gap between this and here. And um, so I had to make this a bit wider. It was pretty easy to do on Tinkercad, just super easy to do. And um, made this wider and made this wider so that way it reaches nicely. And now the, the, linear, the linear screws are now straight. The lead screws are straight and it's now smooth, no issues, uh, no binding or anything like that. So, so other than those mod, that was it. I didn't touch anything else. Now, as you can see, um, the panels are mounted. I'm using the, these very cheap glass panels for 14 bucks. They're precision, they're precision cut at Lowe's, my local Lowe's. I had them measure it, as you can see. There's some very odd uh, measurements for the side. This is for the side panel. So 17 by 21 by 1.6. Um, so very odd size, but I had them cut out and they, they work really nicely. I love the glass panel, not only because it just had weight to the whole machine, because look, this thing is really really rigid and stiff and super heavy i'll say this is at least 80 pounds just from the bed the rods the weight of the glass the weight of the wood as you can see i have wood back here as well uh, mounted so with all that it just makes for a very sturdy sturdy machine like i can print fast with this thing and not have to worry about the machine jerking or shaking you know maybe the table will shake but the machine itself won't be shaking just because again half how heavy it is it's, it's super heavy um um, so I printed out some handles for it. As you can see, glass on the top as well. I got a camera here, ELP camera mounted. It's wide angle lens, so it's just gonna pick up everything in that area. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Like it's it's super, super, super looking good. So happy with the results. Um, the clips here that you see me using to mount the glass, um, these are from Annex Engineering. I'm, I love in the, I'm really, really loving these clips. They're super simple um, to put the glass in place. So I'm gonna start using this on all my bills in terms of enclosing my bills. These Annex Engineering clips are really, really, really nice. They're so convenient and they're quick, quick release too. All I gotta do is turn this, um, turn all of this, remove them, and then the glass comes off. Um, versus the Voron, clips you have to screw them in place and those were annoying to do so this is really made this convenient also thanks to the guys and when i was building my trident you guys were suggesting when i did use glass to 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 i told i told you that i got cut by the glass you guys said you can sand it and i did sand the glass down so no more sharp edges on the glass and nicely sand it down so thank you guys for that heads up i didn't even know you can sand um sand down glass so that's awesome so I sand the glass down, so no more sharp edges, um, and 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 yeah, they're working really, really well. So, so this is the build, guys. All it's done, it's working. All I got to do is put the front panel in. For the pr front panel setup, I just have foam on the edges of the glass here, just foam, um, and the physical glass itself. So let me show you guys. So I put some foam on the physical glass itself, and so basically all I got to do is use these magnet met magnetic clips here. They're magnetic to hold it in so like basically a quick, quick release setup so all i got to do is put the glass in this little these little holders just mount it in push it in use these magnet to hold it in place and boom my glass is mounted if i want to take it off simply just remove the magnets 
glass slides out, done. So super, super easy. And again, I love the look of glass. It's so clear, but you can tell it's there, but it's just nice and clear and clean. Just make for a really, really nice machine. I also have light installed. Now I could put the little light diffuser things that people put, but I don't care for that. I like the brightness of the light. Um, let me show you what that look like. Let me see if I can go ahead and connect this here. Uh, let's see if it will connect. Yep, connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and ohm it so you guys can see that everything is working. Let me push this up a little bit. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and go ohm hall, and I'm gonna do a Z tilt. So, so there you go, sensor is homing, X, and then uh, it's gonna hit the end stop switch on the Y, then it's gonna hit the Z end stop switch here. Then it's gonna grab the probe and do a Z tilt. So as you can see, my belt is all kind of lean, it's not straight. So once it, look how, look how lean that is. So once it does Z tilt, this will give you another live demonstration of our Z-Tilt work with the Clicky Pro. There you go, grab the Pro. Now, does the Z-Tilt. So I'm gonna let you see when the bed gets adjusted. You see the bed on that side, on that side comes up. There you go, just made a live adjustment right there. Now it looks much straighter, right? Super, super simple. Now, once it's done with the Z-Tilt, it'll just dock the probe back and then it will park in the center of the build plate. But like you see, guys, now my X5SA Pro is now 1.8. Um, looks really, really phenomenal. I mean, better than I thought it would have came out. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, the only thing I lose now is on the build plate because it's so huge, I don't have a lot of room in the back. I lose like 10 millimeters off the back. So technically this is 330 on the X. So 330 on the X and then 300 and 10 millimeter, 320 millimeters on the back. So I just lose 10 millimeter off the back. Like I said, there's not a lot of space back there, but that's fine. It's only 10 millimeters off the back of the bed. So I'm not really worried about that. I still got 330 by 320 millimeters. Still all of that. I don't have to print on the exact edge of the bed anyways. As long as I have this fully area mainly to print, that, that's all that matters to me. So, so, so you only lose 10 millimeters off the back of the bed with this setup. Um, I could have used the V1.8, um, 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 I should put it, the V1.8 Z height. Cause this, I'm, I'm using the, in this case, I'm using the Z, um, the Z height from the Trident. There's a STL that allow you to um, to cut the, the the trident holes, and um, and it's 140 millimeters long. If I wanted to save some Z, I could have just used the V1.8, and it would have brought me up another what? Right, it'll probably give me another uh, maybe 50 millimeters on height. But the problem is this: the tool head would have been much closer to the the actual top of the glass, and so that was the difference with the trident. The trident kind of brought 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 it down a little bit lower, so that way there's space for the actual uh, PTFE tube that goes in here, so it's not rubbing up against the glass too much, right? And this is not touching the glass as well. Um, so that's the reason to make it a bit um, to use this um, I know, this much length with the uh, trident setup. So I went ahead and just used the Trident setup. I only lost like about 100 millimeter off my Z, about 150. So my Z height is actually 260 millimeters instead of the 400 millimeter it would have been um, originally. And like I said, I'm, I, I don't have anything that passes 200 millimeter in height to print. I really don't. <laughs> so this is not like a, a major sacrifice for me. Plus I have, um, two other machines that have the Z height. So my Trident is about 300 millimeter on the Z height. Um, and then my Legacy has the full 400 millimeter. Now my Legacy will be turning into a VZ bot slash V1.8 mashup. So basically I'm gonna have the V, V, well, I'm gonna have the Trident skirts, V1.8 bed, and then uh, VZ bot gantry. So it's like a whole mashup there. So stay tuned for that. Um, it won't be enclosed because, like I said, I'm going to maintain the 400 millimeter Z height on that. 
But like I said, I have plenty of machine. If I needed the height, I can print on that. Um, but in this case, um, like I said, I've always wanted to turn this into a 1.8 and it's finally pretty much turned into one. And I'm so happy it turned out way better than I thought. Um, the board I'm using for this is the uh, Octopus board, um, uh, Big Tree Tech Octopus board. Um, really love the board with uh, TS um, TSMC 2209s from Big Tree Tech as well. Um, and like I said, sensorless omen on the X. Um, that's about it. And it's built. I'm also using 16T pulleys in on the, the, the motors in the back instead of 20T um, because that's what was already on my X5SA Pro. So I just kind of brought it into like i said most of everything that was on my x5sa pro mod i've came into this bill so that's why the bill is end up being 350 now the reason why it's 350 because of the glass palin and um to buy the glass and to buy the plexiglass um and i think what else i did i buy um the cable from igos cable chains now this is what i look i want to highlight this is one of the best cable to use for this stuff it's continuous flex cable um, it, it takes up the whole um, cable chain for itself so you can't put any other wire in there just because it's just that thick but it houses all the wire you ever need let me show you back here clear it up it houses all the wire you ever need um, to run all of the, the, the you know the, the hot end the the lights the fan the, the, the hot end fan you know the motor it pretty much have all that wire compacted in one cable so it just makes it much more cleaner i, I don't have multiple cable running as it is just much 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 cleaner that way so but yeah but outside of just buying those few other things that brought it up to 250 everything else i already had so this bill was really cheap for me this is one of the cheapest bills i've ever had just because i've overbought a bunch of components for 3d printers over the years and um, I'm just reusing those, and that's why this build is cheap. Now, if you're building this from scratch, for someone who will build this from scratch, I will say, mm, if you don't want everything and you don't know how to source well, you're probably gonna pay a good, good seven, eight hundred dollars. You probably can get it cheaper than that, but it just really depends on the sourcing ability and where you live and how expensive things are, because you know things are expensive these days. So, so based on this, based on that. It can be vary between five to eight hundred dollars in terms of the bill, something like this. But like I said, it's done. It's three fifty, cheapest bill I've built so far. <laughs> um, um, I mean, if you include the price of the actual Tronxy, when I bought the Tronxy, because I bought my Pro right, like right in twenty twenty, almost the end of twenty twenty. So. My pro was about 500 some change at the time. So if you add the money in, I end up at 350. I know, I, I end up at 850, $850 in total. Now, if you added the mods I had prior to that, you're probably looking at about a good thousand dollars in total, like if I, that I spent on the machine. But because I'm breaking it down by, you know, I'm not really including those prices. I'm talking about just the current mod I had to do to the X5SA Pro, it's $350. So to me, pretty cheap mod so yeah but guys i just wanted to show you guys it's done um easy 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 build it's not hard guys pretty one of the simplest build i've built so far um and like i said i, I build so much four rounds that this becoming second nature for me to build the next build coming up is a vz butt gantry with with uh with 1.8 bed and trident skirt <laughs> it's gonna be quite, quite interesting um i'm not gonna enclose it just because i have so much enclosed printer already it, it don't make sense to enclose another one um but yeah but this is it guys i hope you enjoyed the video hope i gave you guys enough information in this video it's a bit longer than i wanted it to be but like yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this the next time you see this um it will be printing and um you know spitting out some some pretty pretty prints and I'm gonna try to see if I can get this as printing as fast as my uh, Iron Man V1.8, which is printing at 10K at 200, um, 200 millimeters a second, um, 10K acceleration. So hopefully I can get it at that fast too. But like I said, yeah, this is it guys. So enjoy, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.